In this video, we are going to continue with search. You will find this on page 7 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. In this video, we are going to focus on division of search. When we divide search such as this divide this, we divide any number written in front of the root sign and then divide the number under the root sign. So basically, I can say I divide by 2 and that's 4 and I can make one root for 6 divided by 3 and I get 2. So that's not difficult. Okay. But this is a technique that we use a lot in mathematics and it's actually for simplifying. So, and they call it rationalizing the denominator. So rationalizing the denominator is the process of getting rid of a root in the denominator. So basically the root will end up in the denominator and I don't want that. So to, to get that root into the numerator, I rationalize the denominator. Now how do I do that? To be in the simplest form, the denominator should not be irrational. So this is just a mathematical type of thing. Okay, the process of making the denominator rational is called rationalizing the denominator. Sometimes we can just multiply both top and bottom by the root. For example, so if you see there's a, there's a square, just multiply with um, square root 3 and whatever you multiply um, at the bottom, you also multiply at the top. And then can you remember from the previous videos, if you say square root 3 times square root 3, I just get 3. And there is my square root 3. Now the denominator has a rational number and the root is in the numerator. The numerator may be irrational if it's in the simplest form. If the denominator of a fraction includes a rational number plus or minus a search, for example, do you see there? So it's actually, it's actually two terms in the denominator. So we multiply both top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So to form the conjugate of a binomial, change the sign between the two terms. So, if it's, if, if, if for example, in the denominator 3 plus square root 2, then the conjugate will be 3 minus square root 2. So, the signs will be opposite. The rest is the same. So, look again. Exactly the same, but if it's a negative, I just multiply by a positive. So, if we multiply a binomial by a conjugate, then we get this and then look what happens. And I don't think I pronounced that word correct. Okay. So, if I multiply this, I'm going to say 3 times 3, so it's squared. And then I'm going to say this times this, I get this. This times this, I get this. This times this, I get negative and I squared. But now, look what happened. Do you see? And this, is, this was why I changed the signs. <laughs> Let's just get a pen. It will cancel. Did you see? And then I have 9 minus 2, and that will be 7. Okay. So if I do this, so I, it's the first term I squared um, minus the second term I squared. That is basically going to be the answer. Okay. Because the middle terms will cancel out. And that's what I just showed you there. So if you, if that is exactly the same, the one is a positive and the other one is a negative, you can just know that the middle term will cancel out. So it's just the first term that I squared and the last term that I squared. So note, you have seen this before as the difference between two squares. Can you remember that? Okay. So for example, if I take this and look, look, I want to show you. Let's just keep my red. That was a positive, and now it's a negative, and whatever I multiply at the bottom, I multiply at the top. And now, I basically just going to square, because the middle terms is going to um, just cancel out. And then I'm ending up with this. Okay. Conjugate, conjugate. Okay. 
So use your calculator to check the value before and after rationalizing the denominator. So this, this is very important because you cannot do things that change the original value. Okay, so if you do something at the end, your final answer of the new thing must be the same as the answer of the original thing. And that's what I showed you. If you were pressing that on the calculator, that was your decimal. And after we rationalized it, you press this, it's exactly the same. So we did not change the answer. Okay, the answers are the same. Okay, let's do one. Let's first look at example eight. So this now, no, this one is first easy. It's always good to start easy. So I just multiply with square root three, square root three, and that will three, and that will the answer. And six divided by three, it's two. In this case, I'm going to multiply. You don't have to multiply with the nine. You just want to get rid of the root. So you just multiply square root ten, square root ten, uh, top bottom. And then you get 9 times 10, you just don't throw the 9 away, and then you get 30, and you are, that will just be your final answer. Okay, um, I want you to stop the video, and I want you uh, to do, I like always to give a very easy one first, and then we can go a little bit more challenging. And again, first try it on your own, and if you are done, you can continue the video. Let's start with number A. So it's going to be 21 over square root 7. Okay, so if I multiply, I rationalize, I don't want that. So I multiply with square root 7, whatever I do. So because it's actually you multiply by 1, so you're not changing anything if you multiply by 1. And then I will just get, if, it's, if I get, that's 21 square root 7, and that is just going to be 7. And then I can just say 7 divide the front because they are not in a root. So it's 3 square root 7. Okay, and that's the final answer. Then if I look at number C, so it's 9 square root 5, 4 square root 11. So again, I'm going to multiply just with the root part. So, so 11. 11 and that's going to give me now and now you can you can put it already in you can say already and that's going to be 55 do you see that okay and that is just going to be 4 times 11 and okay I'm just going to write it here down uh, so that will be 44 so it's 9 square root 55 over 44 and, and there's nothing that can cancel out that will be my final but nice the root is not in the denominator anymore it's it's now not it's in the numerator and now it's in the simplest form this is just a very important technique that we do in mathematics and that's why i included it in the textbook in part of simplifying